What's up guys, Joe Holland here. I am heading north and head east. I'm going down east to do some serious toad and salmon fishing with a great group of crazy ice fishermen. You may have seen them from a previous episode. This is Brandon right here catching a monster brook trout and throwing it back oh, in the Allagash chain. <laughs> <laughs> I met these guys up north and we kind of just hit it off on the ice. Great group of guys that fish just as hard as I do, if not even harder. We're going to go up and fish West Grand again. West Grand Lake is 14,500 acres. It's 130 foot deep. Super, super clear water. If you have heard of the Grand Laker Canoe, this is where it was invented and made since 1800. It's a square stern, big long canoe that can handle big hard water like Grand Lake. West Grand Lake dumps into Grand Lake Stream. It's known as one of the four heritage landlocked salmon lakes that have always had landlocked salmon, native landlocked salmon. I think it's pretty heavily stocked with salmon now, but we're gonna give it a shot for some salmon. And I think the boys don't really go after the salmon as much. They go after the mega toad because there's some toad in here that can push double digits. I'm excited for this trip. I'm excited to fish with some other guys that are just as crazy as I am. They get fired up and excited when they catch big fish or any fish really. And I'm excited to fish West Grand for the first time ever. I've heard about it forever from my good friend, Donnie Johnston has fished here a lot and I'm excited to try it out myself. Down East Maine is really cool if you've never been up here or over here, I should say. We had a really good snow storm last night that turned to rain, so the road's been kind of crappy, but this drive has been like turning the clock back. Every 10 miles I go is like turning the clock back 10 years. It's really neat up here. It's like going back into history. Everything's kind of set back maybe 20, 30 years behind the times of where I live and even more from where a lot of other people live. Made it. What's up? <laughs> What's happening? What do you think? Made it. Ready to catch some fish or what? Hell yeah, good to see you. How's What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Tropical, ain't it? Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, yeah. Best day of the year. Yeah. Wicked. How is it out there? Oh, beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Not bad. Slaying them? We had a lot of action, but we caught flags. many fish. I caught one, what? 4.8. Just... Cameron caught one toad, and that's it so far. Yeah. See some see some lake is on camera. I, I wrapped three good fish up on bottom. Put sure. off in the hole. That probably what a dozen flags. Yeah, 12, 14, not nice. bad. Yeah. <laughs>
side. Oh, don't even go there. That, I almost drowned here about 15 years ago right there. Oh. I, I stepped out. They'll they'll pull water and they won't tell nobody. The ice will thin out out through here. Holy crap, thank you. You never want to go offshore until you hit Grand Lake Lodge right there. Okay. That's Grand Lake Lodge, one of the most historic places up here. This one is? Yeah, Paul Laney. Quick. I think he moved it. Nope. Oh, oh yeah, he's, he like that. He's hot. Rip him. Yeah. <laughs> you got him? Uh, oh yeah. I'm backwards. Oh, you're right. You left. Oh, absolutely, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a Frenchman right now. He's, Flip, he's flipping Canadian. over real backwards. Yeah. He's I, Canadian. Yeah. I don't want to lose this one. Nice leak. Man, he's fighting, ain't he? Look how clear that water is. Water's very clear. Nice oh. one. What'd you say? Back <laughs> <in it. laughs> nice one, dude. First one on camera. Nice. Want them? Wow, look how fat that, is. The lake's full of them right there. Uh -huh. yeah. Really? That, that's it's tiny. Yeah. That's pretty much cookie cutter right here. They're just obviously, there's you can hopefully we see a five six pounder. Wow, nice. <laughs> Pretty fish. All right, nice work. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Well, what was that? That was uh, smell head. Just can't say. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't <laughs> say. That, that's the secret. Yeah. Oh, I got another flag. Where? My first one. I said. Too bad. Oh yeah. That's look, look, look. Yeah, I tucked this one in the rubber band so the sucker couldn't get out. Think I ought to let him eat or hit him. Rock. I ain't seen him take a huge run. It acts like a bourbon. Oh man, if I caught a bourbon, that'd make my day. That's There's no it. way that's a sucker. I'd let him have it. Let him have it? I would if I was him. Nothing there. It no? was a friggin' sucker. Oh wait. Jesus. These fish will come back on it hard. I don't know if there was something. If they didn't really feel him pull it out. Ah, Jesus is yeah, there is something there. Oh yeah. Oh it just pulled out. Ah. <laughs> he was small. Right on the bottom marker. Yep. He was small. A little laker? Yeah. I think so. It might have been bourbon. Never shook its head or anything. Just got my bait though. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, these things are temperamental. That flag wasn't up when we were coming over, nope. was it? Just went up because I drove to it first. Alright, we got another chance coming right up though. That would give that one a second to swallow it. That was my I gotta warm fathom up. your line up. Go, go ahead, do what you gotta do. I'll take okay. care of that. Food. It's funny how they hit two at a time like that. They feed and, I told you that, didn't I? Yeah. They feed and they end here. So I'm like certain that that fish just had it by the head or the tail. Yeah, they will. Yeah. But not by the hook. You know what I mean? That's what they do. And he just kept coming with it. A then, lot of times they're gonna take out 50 feet of line come right back to the side of where they took it and you're not going to feel that fish till the bottom marker. When you almost see that, you want to be ready to set the hook. Okay, I see. That's exactly what happened too. I guarantee you. That's what the... I can't see your line though. Jeez, that's bright yellow, I think. Oh, oh it's hot that way. Definitely... If we're in the green, then she's, she's yeah, run. You're, de you're definitely got a fish on his head that way. We're into the back end. Feel like much. Oh, geez. wow. Oh, it's wrapped. It's wrapped. Either just popped off or he was on, he had me on a rock. Yeah, might have broken me off. Yep, sure broke me off. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. A long ways out, he broke her off. Yeah. I've seen more fish get fired off here than anywhere in my life. It, this lake's bad. Even on that mud bottom, you got occasional huge rocks, you know. Yeah. Big 
find them though, don't they? Wicked. I've had a couple of heartbreakers up the Allagash. Yeah. Rookies. Around a log or something. I got one video. We pulled up a four foot piece of cord went through the hole. I pulled up a piece of wood out of this lake last trip up here. I'm telling you right now. You asked some guys in the shack how big this piece of wood was. <laughs> 20 pounds if it was a pound. I thought I had state record on. And there was a lake up behind it. Oh no. Oh yeah, I ended up landing the fish. Oh, did you? Yeah. So you felt the head shake. Oh yeah, I thought I had a 20 pounder on. This this log was four to five feet long and I bet you five inches around. Stopped already, huh? Yeah, I don't know if he's got you. He's hooked straight down. Huh. I think we resistance. Should I let him eat or? I don't know. Maybe I'll just feel him. Nothing there. I don't line my uh, There's no way that, oh, oh, he just got bit. That was definitely a fish. So the, he wasn't on, and I just felt him chomping. Yeah. But he's not moving. I think it's a cask? No. Like, he went that way with his hat. Yeah, he's moving now. Oh, did you see that line jump? Oh, yeah. This might be decent. I might have to give him some line, let him run a little bit. He's whacking it, but I don't think he's... He's he's shaking his head like the son of a gun. I think he... Oh, he's there, he's there. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel big, but... There's your line. Man, wasn't he playing with that thing? Oh, yeah. That was cool. Did you see that line? Oh, yeah, she peeled right in your hands. Yeah. She's getting a little bigger. We got leader. Whoa. Now he's going to fight. Gnarly, huh? Oh. There good, he goes. Good fish, ain't it? I think so. I didn't get a look. He's past my leader now. He's Did the you... bottom. Oh, I better get him off the bottom, huh? He might have nodded me out. That fish was fighting, isn't it? Yeah. He was coming up like I didn't he did. get a good look at him. I don't think he knew he was really hooked till he got near the hole. I didn't see him. I just see him. Oh, there's that knot. Oh, boy, that, that's not going to be good, is it? No. Nope. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's decent. He's burping. That's a nice lake, eh? Yeah. Cookie cutter off. Yep. Yeah. Hey, we're on the board, bud. Yeah, nice Sweet. one. <laughs> he did not even know he was hooked till that first time. I think I gotta go on. Yeah, I gotta give him the hook, I think. Unless you see it. No, I don't see it. All right, guys. First Laker of the trip for me. Brandon's putting me on him out here. Kind of a unique fight on that one. He was, he was chewing on the bait, and then he didn't have it, then he did have it, and then took it right out of my hand. It was awesome. Send him back down. Nice. That was pretty cool. Broke the ice, yeah. per se. Yeah. Well, better go find that cheese. In good shape, ain't we? Yeah, I'll go get my other flag. You got another flag? Not yet, but usually I do two at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Almost spooled on a four inch reel. Yeah, I can cool. see this pool. Feel him? I don't even feel like, oh, I don't even feel like I got bait right now. He definitely come back. I'm telling you, there's 150, 200 yards missing right now. Whew. Well, you were saying they circle back, right? That's exactly what, if, if, unless he stripped my bait, that's definitely what this fish done. Don't even feel like, I don't feel like I got nothing. Not even bait. Oh. <laughs> I like I like the Go easy Kyle, I'm gaining on strain. Oh no. Well, he might still be there. He went I said, felt like he was going with it, but I think he's so far away. He just won't give me enough strain for a good hook set. I just felt him go with it, just felt him swim with it. There he goes. No? Yeah, he's right there. I can feel it. 
Maybe he swallowed it. This was that head, right? Yeah. There he goes. Yes? Can you wait there? I don't know where I am on my line, it's a problem. Man, he's got at least 200 yards though. Oh yeah, that pool is full. Is full. Oh, oh, there he goes. Down the hole. Little guy, you know? Ah, yeah, well, just not bad, not bad. Pretty. Yeah, pretty good. See the hook? Yeah, straight there, Kyle. Get it, bud? Can you get it? They're getting active. Nice one, bud. Nice. All right, he's on the board, no skunk. That was the D skunker. Yeah, D skunker. What a bad day, really. It's been a lot of action. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh boys. Is that yeah. yours, Joe? It might be. Not mine. It must be. All right. Isn't it yours? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go catch one. Who wants this one? Kyle, you want to rip this fish? Kyle, take it. Uh, yeah. We got to get you on camera catching one. You take it. Don't know. Yeah, I'm here all week, dude. Me too. I'm here all month. You take it. I'm eating my burger. Oh, you, bud. I'll give you a hand if you need it, but I'd rather just see you catch it. He's going right now. He's going? Oh, yeah. This was a big sucker if I remember right. That's going right now. Is he? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat this burger you made for me and watch you catch a giant. Feeling. Everything. Rocky. That spool was full. Yes? Yeah. Feels like it. Bobby? No. Catch up in a second. Definitely some weight. That's bottom. Nothing crazy on the head shape. Be a giant, baby. <laughs> Good water here, ain't it? You might have about eight. Oh, geez, there he goes. Anybody get a look at him? I ain't seen him yet, no. These cookie cutters up here fight like crazy, don't they? Is this nice fish, Kyle? That Feels might like be it. bigger than a cookie. Feels bigger than a cookie cutter. Especially them head shakes. Once they see that hole. They don't like it. Oh yeah. Pretty fish. Oh, look at that one. Nice one. Nice, dude. Pile on the board. Nice. Look at that beauty. Pretty fish. Thank you, buddy. What's up, guys? Half day, eating burgers and catching toad. Here with my good <laughs> friends, Brandon, Kyle, and Cameron's in the shack right now, catching them on the electronics. Or what's he catching them on? The camera, right? Camera, camera. Yeah. On the camera with the jig rod. And this was just supposed to be a setup day. You know, get up here, get set up, and, yep. and find the place. And Brandon had it all set up and ready for me when I got here. And, Man, we're catching some fish. How many is that today, bud? Cameron's caught five, two for me, nine. Nine already? Nine. So it's going to be a great day. It should be a great time. Not sure how long I could be up here for, but we're going to do at least four days. Oh, yeah. At, at least. least. Maybe yeah. maybe 40. Yeah. As long as you want to stay. As long as there's ice, we'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no better place than this right here. Nope. No. And the store being right there is a game changer for supplies. 
And even if you needed something big, Princeton, I mean, is yeah. 20 minutes away and they have a shop, like a shop and save. At Grand Lake Stream store, though, a little mom and pop set up. I like going there. That was the one at the corner? Yeah, yeah. right here by the bridge. Yeah. Yes. Snowmobile trail, right before you turn, but right before you go over the dam, yep. take that little trail right there and that'll pop right out to the... And where's, where's your buddy's bait shop? Princeton. What way did you come, down Route 9? 9 to 1. Nine to one, so, yep. so you, you went, went by went it by right it, before yeah. you right before the shell station. There's, there's, on the there's some storage, right. there's some storage units, and there's a Jeez, road. I missed that one. There's a road, you know, where you come into town, yeah. And there was a shell station and an Irvin, yeah, half a mile back towards Route 9. Okay, school, there's a school there. I don't know if you noticed, yeah, there correct. was a school with a weird name, yep. yeah, Princeton. Yeah, is that what it said? Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't that weird. <laughs> Something's right. making that line move. Yeah, that ain't no, that ain't no bourbon. <laughs> what do you no. guys think? I th Hopefully a 10 pound toad. He gonna catch it or mop it? Oh uh, no, he'll, 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 he'll get, get him. him. He's, He's missing some line. That fish is on that way. Hi. Look at it. It's almost to the island, ain't it? Yeah. Get the arm off the island. Really nice. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. She making power now, boys. Yeah. That's the best, best I've seen at school right there, but it's been going the whole time. And a lot of line gone, I'll tell you that much. All right, Ken, this has got to be fetched up. I bet you this is fetched up. Is it? No, I think positive. Yeah, I don't know, the way that was just running. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not fetched up, Cameron. You about turning butter on the second time. Yeah, that was going fast. There he goes. The only thing? I think you're out there 40 miles. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I know for a fact that that trap's been a little long. Oh, 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 oh. oh. He's gone he's there. I'm just going to have to pull him back until Baltimore before I feel him. So they do every time here, don't they? What's that, fellas? They'll run and then they just come back on the run oh. they made. So half the time you don't feel them until you get close to bottom. Okay. How you feel about it, Cameron? Cross his eyebrows. Are you seeing the way I'm going? I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Unless that's wrapped up. Tell us! Got bottom marked, right? Yeah. You're not wrapped up by the way that was ripping. There's no way that was wrapped on bottom. You never know. I think he's out there a long ways. Major head there. Yeah. I want to see the bottom marker. Something popped free right there. I don't know. <laughs> Bottom mark right there. He's still there. Oh, he's definitely still he's, on. He's coming around. He don't feel as big now. He was wrapped up on something. Ain't nothing wild. Let's see if she'll fit up through this pistol bed hole. Nice lake, actually. Oh, yeah. That's nice a nice one. fish camera. That a boy! Nice. Look how fat they are. Jeez. Nice. Uh, wow. Wow. Send, send that bait head south. <laughs> Quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I See wanted. Look. Yeah, I need he moves. That fish right there is close to four pounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, he just. Oh, no, it isn't. He yeah. just gookied, Joe. It ain't four pounds anymore. It's just under four. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good thing he wasn't a 10 pounder. Nice one, bud. Four pounder. Good right. job, Cameron. All right, camera's on the board. Yeah, nice one. Got a decent one on this camera. Oh, yeah. Trying to rip him fully out. There's the jig. Oh, look, he, he come right over to it. Yep, he's on it right there. Oh, boy, it's Joe. What do you think? Whoa. Are you caught on the ice? No, he's just heavy. Maybe he's in the camera. No, he can't be. No, he's not in the camera. Looks like he's caught on the That's ice. Okay, I let him swim with it like a mile. <laughs> Might be caught on the ice. I can go tell you where he is with the panoptics. <laughs> yeah, you should. Whoa. That's a nice fish. There ain't no 20 No, inches. it was big. Pull the camera. Pull the camera. Kyle's out there. Good fish to leave on, bud. What do you think, man? What do you think? It's a good one? I'm not wrapped up in nothing. It's a real good one. 
You might be in he's, the ice. He's in the ice. Can you push my line out of the ice? No, I don't know. Just go. Well, hold your feet. Right here. Did you get it? How's that? Yeah, wait. How's back. he feel now? Still good. Looks it. Oh, yeah. That looked like a donkey on camera. It was. He had a big old pork belly. The one I just lost, probably. <laughs> Still ain't even tweaking that rod. <laughs> no, but I'm telling you that you can tell there's something on it. Oh yeah, look at it. Oh, fight. that probably ain't helping you. It's been wrapped oh, around. Oh, it's wrapped around the tip. You can't do anything now. No. Yeah. He might not be as big as you think. <laughs> I think he's pulling pretty hard. It's wrapped around the tip. <laughs> nice lake, eh? Oh yeah. Fish of the day right there, Bob. Nice one. Eddie. I don't even know where mine is. Uh, right there. Alright. Beauty. Open them off. That's the way you pick up. Can you? Yeah, that's the way to pick up your jig, huh? Where's he hooked? Ow. Oh, yeah, both lips. Thrifty, right? I let him swim with a ways. Bent that hook. Nice one, Bob. What do you think? Beauty. Felt good. Oops. Right, buddy. Well, nice one. Now I'd run wrap it. Yeah, now you want to definitely. Or put another wrap in it to feel better. Yeah. There. That's what you want to use, Joe, is that little thing right there, I'll tell Man, you. You guys are wailing on that little tiny That with a friggin'... Show smelt. us what it is. Oh, a smelt, smelt tail. That's what you guys are catching them on, huh? Yeah, yep, they, they love this it. This year up here. Smaller the better? Wicked. Yeah. This, hell this, this will be the earliest you'll see us off the lake. Yeah. I can tell you guys aren't really loving leaving. No, but we know what we got to do. You you know what you got to do, and then we're going to have a lot better, oh, lot a lot, lot longer days after today. Yeah. All right, late in the afternoon, guys. Bummer for these guys. They got to get going. Got responsibilities, right? That's yeah, right. Order. Yeah, but they're taking care of it now. We're going to see them tomorrow. These guys tomorrow. Kyle's coming in a day, a day after yeah. that. Awesome day of fishing, guys. Thank yes. you so much for putting me on them that quick. That was oh, amazing. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see some more. Yeah, well, and what's the plan for the rest of the week? We're going to smash them? Big ones. Oh, yeah. Double digits. Big one. yeah, double big digits. One. So that's what we're after this trip is a double digit salmon. No, double digit toad. Oh. <laughs> we're going after a, a 10 plus pound toad, and they're in here. Oh my God, there's 20s in here. There's 20s in here, they say. There's an 18 caught three days ago, so yeah. what's that tell you? 18 pounder was caught three days ago out here. So, and the guy let him go. He's still swimming. Right. So that fish eats one salmon and he's over 20 pounds. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. Crazy. What are we running for sleds? Is this the sled I want to buy? Yeah. It this is? This is the one I had up there, the Expedition 4. Colin's got a twin to it. This I... is the one I want? Yeah. Or that one? Either one. Yeah. They're both animals. Yeah. Alrighty, Joe. Hey guys. Alright, see ya. This is the one the Forest Ranger said he'd want to have. Okay, so the 900 just, just yeah. ace. Yeah. Expedition, no, no letters after Expedition it? Expedition. Sport. Yeah. Okay. Camera, I'll see you tomorrow, bud. Brandon, see you tomorrow. Guys, it does not get any better than that. Like I said, I met these guys. They were fishing the same trip I was fishing, oh, two or three weeks ago, and we just kind of stayed in touch. And the cool thing about sportsmen, I don't care what state you're in, but especially in Maine, are they're all just great people, man. We're all after the same thing. We want to have a good time on the ice. We want to do well. We want to catch some fish. And we just want to have fun, you know, and get through the winter. And, and I'm sure that is the same in Canada. I'm sure that's the same in any other states you're in, but 
but I feel incredibly fortunate to live in Maine and meet great people like these guys that can share the outdoors and, and share it and have a lot of fun doing it. Got him. Got him off the bottom. Oh my God, look at that white fish. What? Oh my God, that's the biggest white fish I've ever caught. That thing is huge for Maine. Wow, that was a surprise. Holy cow. That is awesome. I know in Canada, my Canadian brothers catch gigantic whitefish like up on Simcoe and some of the other provinces. But for Maine, that's a big whitefish, man. Or at least for me it is. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. He is big and thick. Wow, what an awesome whitefish killer that's a beautiful fish man that is just a big thick white fish i'm excited but i'm gonna throw him back because we got enough food already that was awesome all made possible by the pan optics i'll tell you that for sure i came over here and found a school of smelt so i drilled over it and there was a bunch of fish underneath the smelt so i dropped down and popped it a couple times and I saw a fish come charging in, so I hit the bottom, lifted it up. That's when he bit and I thumped him. Awesome. All right, let's check out accommodations for tonight. I got this whole shack to myself. Pretty darn amazing, let's check it out. I am not sleeping in the pop-up tent this trip because Brandon said he's got a couple shacks up here and he's willing to let me use one of them. So let's check it out. He and his dad built these things out of aluminum and they are all foamed in insulation they're actually wired too and they have wood stoves and propane stoves pretty darn amazing if you ask me got a bunk up top bunk down below plenty of room for benches jig hole super roomy this thing this thing's awesome man i am living like a king in here it is dark now, or just about dark, and I was just about to go in and start a fire in the shack, and look at this. I got a flag up. I'm thinking it might be a cusk. It's not moving, so that's a pretty good sign for cusk. Yep. Yep, big head shakes. Feels cusky. Feels super cusky. Pretty decent fish. Oh, not a cusk. <laughs> Last second lake trout. I'll take it, man. That was awesome. Oh, you didn't even fight. You were fighting like a cusk. Pretty dark. Pretty dark, but that's a pretty decent lake trout right there. That's it. Yes. I love a day. All right, that is going to do it for day one. What a great day. Caught my PB whitefish or lake whitefish. Caught a lot of togue. Got to meet Cameron today. That was a lot of fun. And then got to see Kyle and Brandon again, which is always a good time too. And watch those guys catch some fish on the jig rod and on the traps. So really excited for tomorrow. Uh, I think three... Three guys are coming in tomorrow and we're going to fish together. We're, we got a little bit of a vibe going right now, thinking we might be able to catch something over 10 pounds, which would be just awesome. So I'm going to keep the cameras rolling. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Check back in for day two tomorrow.
my god! Yes, dude! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you chewing on there? Yeah. A little pepperoni. You got your pepperoni stick? Oh, yeah. 